Hello everyone, this is me Samar Preet Prakash, Google Certified Educator, Freelance Writer and Trainer of ICT in Education. Today I'm talking about Wi-Fi hacking, myths about it and the truth. Whenever we hear the word Wi-Fi hacking, it draws our attention because there are a lot of people who are interested in using uh, their neighbor's Wi-Fi for free or they are looking to pay for an ISP subscription. I think this video is going to be useful for and those people who are experienced of being ethical hacker to stop the black hackers from hacking and helping the human mankind in this 21st century. So let's learn about the truth and myth of Wi-Fi hacking. Most of the videos on YouTube they talk about the applications that connect our devices with WPS enabled routers. It is a kind of security system that is so weak and those applications can break out uh, the system to connect the devices with uh, the internet. That is the reason our devices can be connected easily with WPS enabled routers. However, not all WPS enabled routers can be broken because of the strong password and other security system. WPS, WPS tester and Android Domper are two applications that are commonly used to break WPS enabled router security system. However, nowadays Android Domper is removed from Play Store because of some vulnerability. Still, we can download it from different websites. But this application can break the more advanced security than WPS enabled routers. Let's talk about two main operating systems which are used in hacking. They are Kali Linux and Windows. Kali Linux is more liberal than Windows because it is open source uh, operating system uh, whereas Windows does have security system that limits some access. Kali Linux can be more liberally used in hacking. However, one needs deep knowledge of commands of Linux. But it doesn't mean that Windows is not used in hacking purpose. Of course, there are a lot of softwares that are used in Windows in hacking. There are some software which work on both of these operating system as well. Some smartphones, tablets and other devices running over Android mobile operating systems can be rooted to gain some super access. It is the process of killing the security system that works in mobile phone to gain access over the privileged Android subsystem. Literally the routing makes Android like Linux. When a mobile is rooted, there will be no system to control over the security or data manipulations. So let's talk about some tools or software that are used for Wi-Fi hacking. The first one is AirCrack. AirCrack works on Linux operating system. It is one of the most popular wireless password cracking tools which we can use for WEP and WPA cracking. It requires a text file that means custom dictionary that contains thousands of common passwords. AirCrack uses the best algorithms to recover wireless passwords by capturing some packets. Once enough packets have been gathered, it tries to recover the password. Likewise, there is another tool, software Kismet, that is a Wi-Fi analyzer. It detects Wi-Fi devices and identifies the loop. It passively collects packets to identify networks and detects hidden networks. It is built upon the client-server modular architecture. It is available for Linux, Windows, and other few operating systems as well. Likewise, AirSmart is another software that is available in both Linux and Windows operating system. AirSmart works by gathering the packet information from the Wi-Fi router and connected devices. This tool is simpler than other tools to use and it can be used to crack passwords with WEP security. Cowpatty is the tool that works on Linux operating system. It, it works on the basis of automated dictionary with a list of probable passwords to attack for WPA uh, pre-share key. Likewise, there are other software which are used for Wi-Fi hacking. For example, Reaver, Infernal Twin, Wireshark, Wi-Fi Fisher, OmniPeak, CloudCracker, AirJack, ComView, WebAttack, etc. All these softwares require basic skills. They require different kind of commands. They are not easy to use. But to learn about them is easy. There, there are a couple of tutorials to learn these softwares over the internet. So if you are planning to learn Wi-Fi hacking, please use it for positive purpose, not to steal others data and anything for wrong purpose. So please stay at home, stay healthy. Bye bye. See you again in next video. Till then, take care and keep supporting.